and to culture wars. But as I said at the top of the show, tomorrow the Queen starts the celebrations for 70 years of loyal service as the head of state to Australia as well. And Labor marked this yesterday by appointing Matt Thistlethwaite as our first assistant minister for the Republic, or shall we say, for getting rid of the Queen, with a team of public servants to actually help him. Joining me is Rowan Dean, editor of Spectator Australia and host of Outsiders on Sky News every Sunday at 9am. Rowan, to me, appointing this assistant minister for the Republic when the much-loved Queen is 96 years old sounds a little bit like appointing a vulture to a nursing home. He's just waiting to pounce, isn't he, the minute she dies? Uh, 100%, Andrew. I mean, it is, uh, it's hilarious, isn't it, how um, the Liberal government of Scott Morrison refused to engage in the culture wars because that was somehow beneath them, whereas uh, Anthony Albanese has not wasted a second and has made it very clear he's not going to waste a single day of the next three years to fight the culture wars with the full power of the bureaucracy behind him, the media, the ABC. Uh, this is a scary three years we're in for, and uh, this is just one of the many cultural appointments they are making. It reminds you of the kind of um, uh, approach of uh, communists and socialists through history to appoint ministers to cultural roles and to uh, change the thinking of people. Yeah, but, uh, look, uh, you know, I'm alarmed by these changes, uh, like you, but it makes me sometimes wonder why the Liberals have never done the similar thing when they've had the chance. When you see, you know, I'm, I'm envious. I mean, uh, here's the <laughs> Labor, you know, the voice, global warming, uh, the Republic, uh, bang, bang, bang. Uh, the Liberals will probably fall over on one or more of them, but they never take that same chance themselves, do they? No, and that's the tragedy of the last, uh, well, nine years, unfortunately. Um, you know, let's look at the, uh, what will Matt Thistlethwaite be doing? Uh, he'll have a huge bureaucracy and funding behind him. He will propagandise uh, the Republic. So Labor have learnt from the previous mistakes they made. Uh, the 1999 Republican referendum, Australians voted in every state overwhelmingly to support and retain the monarchy. Um, even recently, we saw the popularity of, uh, uh, you know, Prince, uh, Prince William and Kate and so on. Um, so they've realised they've got to play differently this time. Uh, so they Will, they will use Matt Thistlethwaite in schools and education to demonise uh, the monarchy, and they will do so, uh, I suspect, Andrew, and I hate to give them ideas, but we've seen the playbook, they will try and link the monarchy to racism, and they will uh, go... Colonialism. All hell, hell, colonialism, and they will do everything to demonise the monarchy. They are deadly serious about this. Uh, Anthony Albanese, Albanese has made it clear. I think this is the most dangerous period for the Australian Australian monarch, uh, constitutional monarchy and uh, the repercussions are terrifying. They will get into the schools in the same way they have done with uh, climate change and gender. They've managed to convince kids that, uh, you know, boys can be girls and that we're all doomed in 12 years or whatever it is. They will have no problem convincing kids that the monarchy has to go. It's, it's, it's scary. Uh, but you're absolutely correct. I mean, the Labor's had tremendous success, or the left generally, in, in marching through the schools in a way the Liberals never try. I mean, it's just heartbreaking. And, well, they're going to pay for it now. Um, on The Voice, the Aboriginal only uh, advisory parliament the Labor's trying to get into the Constitution, another one of its changes, I think this one is so dangerous to our future. 